so I've just landed in Great Falls. The last few days have been quite a bit of a mess for quite a few Canadians, all stranded abroad because Justin Trudeau changed the rules with the snap of his fingers. With no consultation with the airlines, with no consultation with travelers abroad, he didn't give any leeway to any travelers. Now, to be fair, I'm, you know, I'm used to this. I'm used to being stranded in very weird places, whether it's Hong Kong or the far north of Canada, it's, you know, part of my job. But it's not part of the job for hundreds of Canadians who aren't able to get home right now. They're stranded because they're not able to get a PCR test that Justin Trudeau has required, despite that test taking three days. So you need to take the test, wait for the results, and then book a flight and hope that the results haven't expired by the time they get back to you. Justin Trudeau doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason for doing this, seeing as how the people that are going back to Calgary at least will be taking two tests once they land, one immediately upon landing and another about a week afterwards to make sure that they were for sure outside of that infection window. Now I spoke with an individual in the Denver airport where I just came from and she was almost in tears after being denied boarding last night after arriving at that airport. Check this out. Northern Alberta. Okay, um, and you were denied boarding here in Denver by United Airlines after the rules changed today because Justin Trudeau changed the rules. How does it make you feel that Justin Trudeau said he can't come back to your own country? <laughs> Quite mad. What, what, what are you going to do now? Well, I guess pay 200 bucks to get tested tomorrow morning. <laughs> and kind of those results might take, you know, 72 hours to come in and of themselves. Easily can take, I think, 15 minutes to, so they're rapid ones, so. Now, unfortunately for this young woman, she learned the hard way the next morning that she would actually have to wait three business days for a test to be returned to her in Denver. Justin Trudeau said the tests expire after 72 hours, also known as three business days. So it being a Friday, she would have to wait till Wednesday to get results back from a test she took on Monday and hope that they didn't expire by the time the plane took off. This is all a massive disaster, all thanks to your dear leader, incompetent pothead, Justin Trudeau. Hopefully we'll get a flight tomorrow sometime. Okay, who, who do you hold responsible for this? Do you, do you think that this was handled, you know, smartly? Not really. No. Who, do, who do you hold responsible? Probably our prime minister. So all this is to say is I'm actually at the Great Falls Airport right now. That's in Montana. I decided in Denver that I needed to catch a flight to uh, Great Falls instead of actually connecting to Calgary because land border crossings are exempt from Justin Trudeau's absolutely stupid rule that you need to take a PCR test, which takes three days to get a result from. And that test needs to have been taken less than three days before you're allowed to board a plane. If you want to help me continue doing the work that I'm doing with Rebel News, exposing Justin Trudeau as the incompetent pothead that he is, please go to getkeyinhome.com. There are thousands of dollars, US dollars actually, so not just the monopoly money that we have, real money that it took to get me all the way to Great Falls and it's going to cost even more to get me home. If you appreciate the work that I'm doing, if it's helped you, if it's informed you, please help me out at getkeyinhome.com. For Rebel News in Great Falls, Montana. I'm Kian Bexton. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to our coverage, whether it was in Washington, D.C. or from Great Falls or from Denver, wherever it was. If you go to getkeyinhome.com, it will go a long ways to helping me out getting home.